Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Tawana, aka Miss.com, and this video is about us getting ready for November. So, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I like to switch up my months, the layouts for my months, depending on what's going on. So, initially, I had pulled uh, the dashboard for November. This was the one, the actually the dashboard that had the animal print. I actually have several home projects that are going on in November. So I think a vertical layout, preferably one with lines, is probably going to be better suited for what I want to do in um, for everything I have going on in November. So this ended up being an extra long video so i had to speed this process up so you guys know i have several different layouts that i keep throughout the year some of them are from 2022 2023 and i do have some 2024s left so going through all of the layouts i realized i wanted to use the weeklies for with the line the vertical line so the one that i opted to use was the faith layout because it has the top three priorities and then it has the breakdown where you can have individual tasks throughout the week and i actually like the lines so the faith layout has three sections so i said hey i do also want to use the habit trackers and the goals and must do sheets from the monthly so I have an undated monthly and truth be told, I did not feel like redating this month. So I said, hey, let's pull out the first two pages from the monthly. And because I do have home projects, I also opted to use the goals. Now you're probably thinking, well, Tawana, why didn't you just use the goals layout? Because I don't need all of those task lists and I don't need all of those weekly focus sheets that come with every week. Uh, it's great if you're going to be using your planner as your goal setting, but I'm not for November. I'm not doing goal setting in my catch all planner. I'm going to stick with my notebook. So I took out two of the pages from the goal setting section and I took out two pages from the monthly and I took out the weeks from the faith planner. I know it's a whole lot going on. Trying to find the exact months to line up with November 2024. I always go to the year at a glance sheet that kind of helps decide, okay, what months from 2023 um, will match for the following year but for this particular one i had used no for some odd reason i had used november already so i ended up having to pull another month out i don't know what i used november for i might have used it in something else but hey we had all of our sheets together now it was um time to get to putting everything together and of course me being in true fashion what did i forget I ran out of adhesive tape so we had to do a little bit of ad-libbing so I just wanted to put everything together to make sure I was taping the pages correctly because I have most definitely taped the wrong pages together but like this so this is what our November is going to look like so we have the faith layout So our monthly is going to be, that's the faith layout, we're using the 23. So then I took the back pages to a monthly layout. That's where this page came from. This top priorities list actually came from the goals layout. We got the task list on the back side. This page is the partner page to this in the monthly. So we're gonna use this page to break that up. And then we're going to cover up all of these headers for the um, for the faith layout because I'm not going to use this as a faith planner. So let's do the first week first.
So I just want to cover up the headers. Um, and I'm going to make this the easy way just with some washi strip stickers. You can use washi tape. You can use, um, I've used just regular uh, doll stickers in the past. I'm only going to do this one week just for demonstration purposes. And then I'll come through and do a full, like, plan with me on this particular Sunday. And I feel like I don't have... I want two others that match versus those two where the colors are completely off. Oh darn, I wish I would have realized I had this many because I would have used these. Okay. them to the side we already got the black and white and that's the thing with these um stickers you're not going to be able to pull them back off it ain't going to happen so i'm like do we want to stick with the black and white this one is a little thick this one is thinner See what I mean? Yeah, I don't need anything super thick. And then these two, I'm going to use um, quotes. I think this will work to cover up the whole word. Oh my gosh, if y'all can see what my desk look like. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. So we'll put it in the middle. And then this one, I need like a square or something. This will work. And what I'll do is I probably add some type of quote or something under there so it doesn't look like she's floating. And we win it. And I just want to cover up where it says January. So this embrace should work. Embrace the power of al alignment. Perfect fit. I feel like I wanted something a little bit bigger, but that might work. Do we want to just put it? Yeah. Move it up a little bit. 
Bam. There we go. We have covered the things. So now we have a nice, wonderful vertical that we can use for anything and everything. All right, so those pages are good. And I'm looking at what we're doing for time-wise, and I think I'm going to cut this short and decorate the monthly on its own separate video. But this is how I used all of the planner things to create my November layout. So stay tuned for the video on how I actually decorate November and prep my additional pages. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys have a great day. Peace and blessings to you all. Remember to love up on those who love you.